Hello, welcome to Project Air this week. Um, I'm James and today we're testing a new aircraft that I've put together. This is it. It's a twin-engined aeroplane and uh, its mission is to take on as many different science experiments as possible. So we're going to be dropping things from it, we're going to be uh, mainly dropping the space shuttle from it. Um, its missions are endless, we're going to do loads of stuff for this, hopefully, if it actually flies. And that's what we're doing today, we're doing its first missions. We're going to fly it, see if it actually flies, and then we're going to take a parachute and drop it from the aeroplane. So, yep, let's get going. I think we're just about ready. What do you think, Mike? You ready? You as nervous as I am, because I don't want it to crash. I can sense. Center of gravity looks okay. It's going to be hopefully quite easy to launch. We're running three cells on this flight um, instead of four. But we're going to have a lot of power, I think. I didn't go right. <laughs> I so, just should have thrown it harder. I didn't commit enough. Let's do it again. <laughs> so I'm finding it really difficult to control at the moment. It wants to pitch down as soon as I throttle up. Um, so I'm just going to get it up really high so I can trim it out. I'm not really going on a very high throttle setting. I don't know what any of those words mean. <laughs> Okay, now it's full back on the trim. So that's feeling better, that's much, feeling much better now. I think it's acting weird because the tail is so long, it's pitching the nose up and down in a very erratic manner. It just seems like it's got a really weird attitude. Like the attitude of it is really weird. Okay, I'm gonna just glide it. See what happens when I glide. Seems to sink quite a lot. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's... Okay, I think I'm gonna land it. Hopefully the engines don't break off when I land. <laughs> oh, broken the tail slightly, but... Man, that was that was a really weird flight. Oh yeah, we've broken this off, but just take it back on, it's all right. Um, the whole time the aircraft seemed to be flying like this. So I think it was probably, I don't know if there's any aerospace engineers in the comments, but I, th I don't know what's wrong with it. Like it might be because it was really nose heavy and I added a load of back pressure on the stick. So it was always flying like this. Mm. So maybe if I move the, the batteries back a bit. So we've made some uh, modifications. Uh, we've put some sub trim on this so we've adjusted the angle the default angle of the uh, the elevator and we've moved the battery slightly further back so that should help with the center of gravity problem and it wanting to nose dive all the time way better center of gravity seems to be uh, positively affected so it's not not so much tilting back all the time I mean it still does a little bit but I think it's a lot better now Yeah, we can, we've got loads more control over this thing now. It's flying really nicely. So I'll tell you what, let's land it and let's put some parachutes on it. Or put a parachute on it. Now it's time for the first official science experiment with the plane. So we're gonna, it's not much of a science experiment, but I'm gonna drop this camera from the aeroplane and this is gonna sort of float down. Let's do that now and see how it goes. I'm gonna have this ship. We go. Hopefully this doesn't make too much of an aerodynamic impact. It might do, but we'll see. You ready? I'm ready. I'm excited. Is everybody ready? Are you ready for a first person skydiving experience? Right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> I should float it down quite slowly. Last thing to do before landing. Bit of a victory roll, I think. No. 
nice. Okay, so bringing it in, nice and smooth. Get the blast on the throttle. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, it broke the elevator again. <laughs> Hooray! Successful mission. That about um, wraps this episode up. Thanks for watching. Next time we're going to be dropping a space shuttle from the top of this and seeing what happens then. So we're going to be up in the ante. Um, like, comment and subscribe as usual. And I will catch you on the next episode of Project Air. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.